Natasha the Dark, an evil archmage from Oerth, the world of Greyhawk. She is a renowned demonologist and crafter of spells. Also known as Igwilv, she goes by another name, Hasha. <laughs> Hello everybody, Jordan here, the PH is silent, and today I'd like to talk about the lore and history of Igwilv, aka Tasha, famously known for Tasha's hideous laughter. I have not covered the world of Greyhawk much, but it's important to note it was Gary Gygax's original D&D world. Many of the named wizards we know of come from Greyhawk, such as Mordenkainen and Tenser. She was named one of the greatest villains in D&D history, and she is characterized as selfish and powerful. Igwilv was a human woman named Natasha. As a child on Earth, she was adopted by the witch Baba Yaga, who trained her to be a powerful spellcaster. Baba Yaga in Dungeons and Dragons is a fiend, and she's that old witch or hag that has the walking cottage on chicken legs. This has been in D&D for a long time, and there was a 1995 TSR adventure module called The Dancing Hut of Baba Yaga. Yeah, look at that art. You're welcome. Growing up, Igwilv became known as Natasha the Dark. She left Baba Yaga and is difficult to track as she changed her name often. I assume taking on new identities so her evil reputation would not follow her. She plundered the vault of Daoud, where she acquired Daoud's wondrous Lanthorn. Daoud being a deity in Greyhawk, and Lanthorn is an old British word meaning lantern. I couldn't find specific information on this magical artifact, so I'm not entirely sure what it does. Then, arriving at the free city of Greyhawk, she changed her name to Tasha and was tutored by a wizard named Zagig. She served as a member of the Company of Seven, who was a Greyhawk adventuring group that achieved great fame and power in Oerth. Several of the members went on to become demigods or hero deities. Most of these people have spells or magic items named after them. However, the Company of Seven no longer exists, and it is not known exactly when, why, or how they disbanded. It was with Zagig and the Company of Seven, Igwilv created the spell Tasha's Hideous Laughter. The Company of Seven were a part of the imprisonment of the demon lord, Fraz Ublu, and in secret, Tasha spoke to the demon, learning numerous secrets. She fled the group and stole a bunch of Zagig's magical books, including the Tome of Zix, and it is believed this book, the Tome of Zix, was altered and sections rewritten to become the famous Demonomicon, an in-game artifact book that later was the inspiration for an actual book in fourth edition. Now on her own, Igvilv used the new magical knowledge she gained to summon and imprison the demon lord, Grazit. No small task to be sure. Grezit was once a devil that washed his hands of the blood war and currently rules two layers of the abyss. Grazit, now in the service of Igwilv, helped her with her plans to conquer the world and also gave Igwilv a son named Ayuz. Now, Ayuz became a chaotic evil demigod of deceit, evil, oppression, and pain. He is often referred to as the Old One or Old Wicked. Instead of living in the abyss or elsewhere, he lives on Earth and rules an entire area known as the Empire of Ayuz, also named one of the greatest villains in D&D history. Later on, Grizit escaped her control and the two fought as Grizit attacked her directly. Igvilv just barely succeeded, but Grizit was not killed in the fight and instead returned to the Abyss, as demons can't be destroyed on the Prime Material Plane. Weakened by this fight, she was dealt another defeat by losing control of her nation. She departed and was presumed dead, but as villains tend to do, she returned and currently resides in a manor located in the Grey Waste, or Hades. She also had a vampire daughter named Drelzna, who made an appearance in the Greyhawk adventure called The Lost Caverns of Tsoj Kanth. Igwilv is most famous probably for penning the Demonomicon. Also known as the Demonomicon of Igwilv, it was a seven volume book written by her and contained comprehensive demonic lore, detailed information on several demon lords with instructions on how to summon and bind them. Useful also as a spellbook, it contained evil rituals and unique spells. Some of these rituals allowed the caster to open permanent demon gates. Other rituals were merely prayers to evil entities. The cover was purple demon leather, and the pages were made of parchment, and the whole thing bound in brass, held shut by a three-fingered demonic hand. 
Igvilv is called a demonologist. Most believe her goal is to take over the entire abyss, to become the witch queen of all abyssal creatures. She was part of an attack to overthrow Demogorgon, which surprisingly worked. The Prince of Demons has returned to power, but Igwilv still possesses a shard of his demonic essence. She has two forms known. One is an old crone, and the other is a beautiful woman with black hair. I was surprised this didn't come up earlier as an accessory book, the Demonomicon, but I guess they decided to use the Book of Vile Darkness for a weird dark book publication. It wasn't until fourth edition that the Demonomicon came out in print. The book holds lots of information on the Abyss, demons, and the demon lords. Fourth edition Abyss is similar to other editions, including fifth, but its creation differs slightly. Perhaps nobody truly knows where the various planes come from. Was it a shard of pure evil hurled into the elemental chaos, or was it always there? A reflection of the negative energy that surrounds the lower planes. The various magazines of D&D over the years, such as Dragon Dungeon and now Dragon Plus, had supposed excerpts from the Demonomicon of Igwilv, which was various bits of information on demons. The trend started in 3.5 with Pazuzu, and others followed, such as Baphomet and Demogorgon, to name a couple. Fifth edition had one article so far, early on in 5th edition for Bella Foss. Wizards of the Coast has a PDF of that information, and supposedly it's from the Demonomicon. There isn't any information on Igwilv, but I'll link the PDF below anyway. I'll leave some links to videos on the Abyss and how to summon devils and demons. I'm sure Igwilv's Demonomicon would be more beneficial, but with the right prep, you could have a demon serve you for a few weeks, safely, maybe. Thank you patrons for supporting this channel. Uh, subscribe for more videos on D&D lore. We're getting very close to 100K and I will see you all in the next one.